dragging and dropping your photos and videos to sort them is so old school. Check out Big Meme Folder Machine to do it for you. Hi, I'm Amanda Lettercott, the photo organiser, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Do you have a ton of photos or files that are a complete mess and you just don't have the time or patience to sit there and manually file them away? In this video, I'm going to give you my sneaky secret to organising all of your photos and videos with the help of the big mean folder machine. And this is most definitely not a sales pitch. I am just in love with it. What is the big mean folder machine? The Big Mean Fold Machine says it is an assistant style interface that walks you through the decision making process and allows you to create multi level folder hierarchies and populate them with your digital photos, music, movies, or document files. Conversely, it also allows you to merge files from multiple folder hierarchies into a single folder. It can also split large file collections into batches of a predetermined size. In normal words, it is an automatic folder creation merging software. Yes, it will do it automatically. How amazing is that? Why do you need the Big Mean Folder Machine? Well, apart from the fact that it will save you a ton of time sorting all your photo and video files, why do something yourself if you could get something else to do it for you automatically? It will sort all of your stuff by year, month and day or type or file name, it will also merge lots of folders together into one location. And it doesn't just work on photos and videos, it works on all of your documents and files. But as I am all about the photos and videos, that is what I tend to use it for. How to use the Big Mean Folder Machine. Naturally, there is a whole manual telling you how to use this amazing tool, but I will give you a little flavor of how easy it is to use. First of all, select what you want it to do, whether you want it to merge or split into folders. Next, point it towards the folders that you want it to do its little magic on. Next is the splitting criteria. You get to pick from creation date, photo shoot date, file type, letters in the file name. There is also a custom option if you want to get a little bit funky with your folder naming convention. So check that one out. You can go up to three levels deep with your selections. So if you want to do year, month and day, you pick creation date year, then creation date month, then creation date day. Get it? Then you need to tell it what to do with conflicts. So if you have two files that are called the same thing, what do you want it to do? Like adding a little number to the end or some other crazy stuff. Now you should tell it what you want to do if it can't find the date type that you are using. You can ask it to use the creation date or put it into an others folder for you to have a look at later. I go for the others folder as if you're running a mix of photos and videos, it can do some funky things with a photo shoot date selection. Check out my watch out at the end of this video to solve this little oddity. Next, tell it where you want to save, so select your location. If you run it a few times to get your final sort, you can sort it into an already sorted folder structure. Just tell it to go ahead when it asks you if you really want to do that. We are now on the home straight. The next job is to tell it if you want it to move or copy your files to the new folder structure. It will give you a scary red warning if you say that you want to move the files, but to be honest, that is fine because we don't want to have duplicates hanging around now do we if you select a copy or think you still have some duplicates then check out my other video on the best duplicate photo removing software in the link above one final job is to tell it you want to review the results before it does its thing now you could go all maverick and go straight ahead with a go but i like to check before just in case i've made a mistake or something weird is going on then it's just a case of clicking continue, waiting for your preview, and then telling it to go ahead. Job done. 
some watch out. As I've already mentioned, videos can have a life of their own when it comes to the Big Move Boulder Machine. They firstly don't have a photo shoot date, so if you run your first sort as photo shoot date, like I do, they will all end up in the others folder. But fear not, this is fine. You just run it again on creation date and slot them back into the central sort. No biggie. But the other pain is that some videos, as well as some photos, like to lose their original dates, or the dates are hidden in the background when you have been moving files around and you kind of need those to be able to use the big mean folder machine to sort by date, obviously. While there are some nifty tools out there to help you find those hidden dates and change them in your files, the makers of the Big Mean Fold Machine even have their own tool that you can use called a Better Finder Attributes that you can buy as part of a bundle including the Big Mean Fold Machine. So worth checking out. So there you have it, why you need the Big Mean Folder Machine in your life. And if you aren't already convinced, you can download a trial version and check out the magic. Go on, give it a go. What other tips and tricks do you have for keeping your photos and videos all sorted? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.